I'm just here pitching the the old pumpkin color and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I came right back to the same spot where I caught that one yesterday and I missed the other one so hopefully we can we can land another one And today we're fishing again with the Ozark grit stick. Uh, I know I didn't give much info on it yesterday, but this is a six foot six medium. I also use this as my catfish rod. Oh snap! Oh well, see, see that's what happens when you get close to close to that. And that's why I wear caps. <laughs> oh, sink it about. Up to my knees. Man, yeah, that's alright though. Oh, he bit that. But he let it go. Darn. I knew I should have let him hold on to it a little bit longer. But he, as soon as he thumped it, I stopped for a split second and I felt another thump. And I'm just casting it out there and let it, let it sink to the bottom. I kind of had to go around that branch right there, so you gotta like, like curve it around. And today the weather is about 35, 36. 35, 36. It's supposed to get up to like around lunch. It's supposed to get like up to the 60s. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and put you on pause right quick. I don't have much record time. I'm going to go ahead and put you on pause and I'll start whenever we get back to the action. I just missed a good one. He must have been about a good three pounder maybe. Dang. He got it on the drop. Dang, he tore it up. Look at that. Dang. 
I, I didn't I tried to get my camera going, but I mean he he wrecked it. I mean full head on collision. Let's see if we can get another one, but probably not. Not all that splashing. Let's see if we can get some more action going. I'm using a green pumpkin seed paddle tail. And I'm just bringing it back slow, popping it off the bottom. There he is. Got him. Oh. Oh, come on, come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, easy, easy. Woo-wee! Yes! Look at that. I knew he'd come back for it. Oh man. Beautiful. Hold on. Hey, I got my <sighs> what a beauty. <clears throat> Look at that. He's about a good 12 inch. Hold on. I want to. I don't want to keep them out long, but in my backpack I have. Oh yeah. In my backpack I have. A ruler. Here we go. Wow. Oh yeah, he's about a good, about 13 inches maybe, yeah, about 13 inches, nice, beautiful, and this, like I said, this is cold weather, this is about, temperature rises up to about 36 degrees, beautiful, alright, let's see if we can get him back out there, alright, I went ahead and got the hook out of his mouth, He's beautiful. He's got them red lips on there. He's been eating on the bottom. That one good last look at him. Look at that. Mm. All right, let's get him back in the water. There he goes. All right, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can get this going again. We're going to do the same retrieve, popping it off the bottom. I need to tighten up my drag because he was, he was tearing it up pretty good. There you go, tighten it up. Alright, and he's letting it go to the bottom. And it felt like a quick thought too, he was. He was on it. He's sinking right there. There's a hole right there. Oh, something must have got him while he was down there. Thought I had my phone on record, but I'm out here pitching. I'm out here pitching this uh, pumpkin seed, 
colored lizard red speckled as well um and i threw it after in this bass he um he went after it took him a little bit gave him a few extra seconds on it not bad let's see if i can get him in the light oh lighting is horrible <clears throat> he was taking a little bit of drag, so I guess I'm going to have to set my drag a little tight. There he is. He's beautiful. Oh. Let me cut him on the lizard. Let me go ahead and Get him off the hook real quick. Let's put y'all down for a second. There we go. Good sized bass. We gonna let him go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. And, I'm gonna put y'all back in in the camera holster. All right. Hopefully y'all can see a lot better. Alright, let's get to it. Well, Alright everybody. We're about to we're about to roll out, about to call it a day. Fished over in that area where I caught that bass and I worked my way around and nothing. Nothing wanted to bite. Not even a bite. So I went ahead and I just put a little slip sinker on there. Worm hook and bobber. They didn't even want to bite no worm. On that, on this one, I switched to a small. I switched to a small crappy jig and no bluegill, no crappy. Not even bass wanted to hit it. And if you watch my other videos, I've caught, I've caught some largemouth on that. I've caught a little bit of everything on it, shine or everything. So I guess it's either too cold or they're just not out here. Where I'm at, you know, I ain't worked my way over there to the far side. Next time I come out here, I'm gonna bring the kayak for sure. Cover more area a lot faster that way. I'm gonna go ahead and pack all my gear and uh, I'm gonna work my way back to the vehicle. And like I said, it's still it's still cold. Weather is about 30, 35 now, I think 35. Something like that. So it's still still pretty cold. Um, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm starting to slowly put up more content. Um, so please, please let me know what y'all think. I really like some feedback. Um, watch my other videos. I have other videos showing, you know, catching some crappy, some shell cracker, some other largemouth, um, uh, some bluegill, brim, um, a little bit of everything here at the pond. So, like I said, go ahead and just let me know what y'all think. 